Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today, we are going to go barrel proof. Yes. We have Old Ezra 7. This is a seven-year-old Kentucky least, bourbon. At least. At least. least seven. Minimum. Seven-year-old Kentucky bourbon. And they they bottle this at barrel proof as a 117 proof. It is going to have a whole lot of... Uh, <laughs> Have a little kick to it. It's gonna have a kick to it. I think I'm thinking uh, we're getting hugs. No, we're gonna get the Kentucky hug. hug on this one right here. Outside of that, it's not a lot known. No. Don't know what the mash bill is. Well, it's at least 51% corn. Has to be 51% corn. Don't really know where they're getting their juice from. Uh, the rumor most is though. most people think MGP, but it actually states on there. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, which means it has to be distilled in Kentucky. So Heaven Hill, Heaven Hill, it's the guess. Barton, maybe Barton, maybe I, I don't know. That that that's the that's the guess. The rumor outside of that, don't know. So non chill filtered. So uh, did a little bit more research on non chill filtered. Uh, when you chill it down, it will actually take some of the impurities out of the whiskey, hmm. uh, it, it, like they'll collect up at the top and you can kind of clean it out, but it pulls some of the flavor. That some of those impurities yeah. are flavor from the barrel. So really all they're doing is running it through a strainer, getting rid of some of the chunks of Whoa. oak. Ooh, that is cinnamon. Yeah. And sugar. Like it really reminds me, uh, um, you ever do toast with cinnamon and mm -hmm. sugar on it? Like that's, that's kind of... Brown sugar, not like white cane sugar, but it, there's a, yeah, I get the sweet. I'm sure there's some kind of fruit though. Yeah, I would think at this high of a proof, uh, like a dark cherry, black cherry type note, but at this moment, I'm not getting it. I think this is probably a whiskey that after the taste, more comes out, more flavors start to, to pop out of there. So, yeah, right now. Cinnamon and brown sugar is really the, the main taste and a little a little bit of a hug. A little bit. Not um, as much as I expected at the 170. More burn the initial swallow, but like there's no yeah, no hug. Yeah, no. it's not it's not coming down. The interesting thing for this bottle is proof for price. It's amazing. This bottle's forty dollars MSRP. And a lot of times. If you can find it, that's the that's the problem. They actually charge close to that MSRP. It's I really paid forty bucks, but you got to be able to find it. It's Laverne, right? That was Laverne Beverage <laughs> Depot. That's correct. You got the last bottle. Yep. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, yeah, that was. Yeah, we we rolled in there and saw that on the shelf, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I, I've I've had one bottle. Um, I don't remember where I found it. I just know it, it's just not a bottle you see very Rarely. often on the shelf. Yeah. But given the price point, you'd think it'd be on there everywhere. Yeah. But we'd also say something about Weller. True. <laughs> absolutely true. No, I think def it, for the proof, the price, absolutely worth it. Yeah. Yeah. 117, there is a good amount of oil mm -hmm. sitting there. It is seven years sitting in that barrel. I got to assume... It's going to pick up some of the oil coming out of the wood. Yes. Interested to know, like, so it's not MGP. They're going in, they're selecting it. What are the notes that they're going for? Because I'm not, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't know Heaven's Hills lineup well enough. I'm getting a lot of the strong aftertaste of oak. I, I get a lot of oak, which, again, makes sense from the non-chill filter yep. part. But cinnamon... And brown sugar is yeah. really all that comes off. Uh, I, I, yeah, I really would have expected a dark fruit or maybe like a dark chocolate note. Mm -hmm. Not getting much of that. Mm -mm. I know I said before the the proof for the most part anything over a hundred cube. I don't. I know this is up in the the one seventeen. I don't. I don't know uh, if it really. I don't know. I think. I don't know if it needs it. I maybe think, a splash of water. Yeah, but I, not a cube. I, I cooled off. This might be. I don't know. It's an. It'd be interesting. Yeah. 
Well, we can run some samples on uh, the, the, you know, adding a splash of water or adding like a, like a regular refrigerator cube, not a right, not a cube, not cube. a big old uh, bourbon pour cube. But I, I just I expected a little bit more complex. Not really getting no. that. Uh, it's Mm-mm. it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's got a little heat. It's brown sugar. It's a little cinnamon. I mean, I think I think it's good. I just remember when it, we first started seeing it, it was one of those that seemed to get a lot of hype. It was one of those kind of unicorn out in the, in the wild. And I, hope, I hope I find one today. Yeah, hope I see one. Yeah. Not a bad bottle. Mm-mm. Not at all. And for $40, like I said, dot cost to proof, I, probably one of the best deals that you're going to get out there. If you like a little bit more of a complex whiskey, this isn't. This probably yet. isn't it. No. I, I think... Uh, you know, maybe a stag, it, it might be a better, again, just as hard to find and a little bit more expensive, but that for a higher proof whiskey, I think the stag has a lot more yes. layers and complexity to it. It's good. It's yeah. solid. It's a very solid whiskey. Bourbon. Whiskey. I mean, for the, our audience out there, if you got some more history on this bottle, have some more knowledge, we'd love to, we'd love to hear from you on this one. Yeah. I, I'd love to understand a little bit more about you know where they're sourcing it, how they're how they're sourcing. It, if they have a profile that they're trying to go after as they're picking these bottles, also this is the only bottle I've ever had. Do they pick like what are they picking? For? Like every time you go to pick barrels from a source, what what's, right, what, what's that flavor? That is there a continuity on? to yeah. the taste? I guess is really my point. Uh, you know, each time they're going there to pick more barrels, is there a continuity to the flavor profile that they're yeah. coming out with? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I'd. I'd love to find out more information. Yeah. Overall, solid whiskey for the solid for, definitely for the price. The price to proof is is probably the best out there. Yep. So. Well, we appreciate you joining this episode, uh, going through old Ezra Seven. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, again, hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. If you maybe have some insider knowledge on this bottle, please drop us a comment. We'd love, we'd love to hear from you. While you're down there, if you could subscribe to the channel, and if you want, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new show. But other than that, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next episode. Happy Cheers. Thanksgiving and good luck on Black Friday. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.